Welcome everyone. We are here today to share some information about the proposed affordable rental project on Harrow Road in the village of Pemberton. My name is Jessica and I'm here uh, joined by Sea to Sky Community Services to share information with you today. Our goal is to provide you with the background information that you need in order to participate in this process, which we're really excited about. With that, I'd like to introduce um, two individuals who are leading this project. I'd first like to start off by inter introducing Jay Russell, the Executive Director of Sea to Sky Community Services. Hi, great to be with you, Jessica. I'd also like to introduce Jesse Abraham, the Director of Housing with Sea to Sky Community Services. Good morning. So with that, we're going to jump right into it. And I wanted to start off by going to you, Jay, to share a little bit about um, the project and uh, give folks a sense of, of where the project is being proposed. Thanks, Jessica. We are so excited to be sharing uh, this information and news about this exciting project. Um, as Sea to Sky Community Services, we've been operating in the Sea to Sky quarter for over 40 years. And we know that affordable housing is top of mind of everyone that lives in the corridor. So we're proposing today um, to build 63 units of affordable housing, ranging from one to three bedroom units with additional ground floor space to provide Sea to Sky Community Services and the community um, added social service and admin space. The property is located on a three acre corner of Harrow Road and Highway 99. And we're excited to offer these units to a mix of folks living in Pemberton for families, seniors, persons with disabilities, as well as community space for everyone to come and enjoy and be supported by a wealth of community amenity space in social services. Thank you so much, Jay. I'd like to go to you, Jesse, um, just to tell us a little bit about the need. And I think for, for folks who've been looking for housing, that, that might be obvious, but you've got some numbers here and some background to share with us. So over to you, Jesse. Absolutely, thanks, Jessica. I think the need is clear. The region is growing in population. Um, rent rates and real estate prices have been increasing rapidly over the past decade. Uh, between 2008 and 2018, or sorry, 2021, as of last year, we saw an increase of 74% in rental rates. The, the need is that there is a lack of affordable housing supply. Currently in Pemberton, the Lions Villa is the only non-market housing for seniors and persons with disabilities. Rental housing and condos and secondary suites are available, but are not considered a stable and secure form of rental housing. Thanks, Jesse. The, the word affordable is, is thrown around a lot <laughs> and um, really wanting to get a sense from you, if you could just share with folks a little bit about what does affordable mean in the context of this project? Great question. Housing is considered affordable when 30% or less of the household's gross income, so before tax, goes towards paying for your housing costs. And that's everything from rent to hydro and utilities. Um, in terms of this project, all tenants will have to meet a maximum income threshold um, in order to qualify to live in the building. Um, and these are rental rates that are set by BC Housing. We're targeting populations that have low to moderate incomes, um, specifically families, seniors, and persons with disabilities. Alrighty, so let's let's break that down uh, just a little bit. I know there's a lot of numbers here, but maybe you could just walk us through sort of the, you know, Jay had talked about a mix of, of folks living in the building. So maybe you could walk us through what those um, opportunities are. Absolutely. So this project will have three different types of rental options. So the first is market rentals, and this will be 30% of the units. Um, and these are set rates based on average uh, rental rates in community. 50% of the units will be rent geared to income. That means the tenant only pays 30% of their household income towards rent. And lastly, 20% of the housing units will be deep subsidy. This means for folks who are low income um, and have fixed income each month, uh, they will pay a low set rate for rent. Thanks so much, Jesse. 
Um, really looking now to get a little bit deeper into um, the context of the site and the proximity of the site relative to um, all of the things that people in Pemberton uh, like to walk to and to get around to. Yes, absolutely. So the site is a three acre site on the corner of uh, Highway 99 uh, in Harrow Road located in the neighborhood of the Glen. Um, across the highway is Pemberton Valley Lodge. Uh, in proximity to the site um, is a great trail network. Uh, the schools in walking distance, um, as well as uh, commercial and retail space um, going towards town. Thanks so much, Jesse. So looking um, even closer at the site, maybe you could give us a little bit of sense of the orientation and what, what's being proposed. Absolutely. So you can see on the site plan here, uh, the building is located um, closest to the corner of Highway and Harrow Road um, with access to the parking and driveway um, off Harrow Road itself. Uh, we have left some part of the site undeveloped um, in order to have outdoor amenity space. Um, and it's positioned on the property uh, to, to allow a buffer between neighbors as well. Thanks, Jesse. So let's take a little bit of a, a closer look at the concept and maybe you could give us some of the highlights in terms of what's being proposed for the building itself. Absolutely. So you can see uh, in these 3D images, you get a better sense of what the project will look like uh, located on the site, um, just in proximity to the highway and road, uh, what it'll look like with the parking lot, um, what the potential height will look like, and just the building um, envelope and footprint. Thanks, Jesse. Now, I think um, uh, many people will notice that um, what's being proposed is a five-story building. And for some, that might be you know, taller um, than, than what they were thinking of. Um, and Pemberton really has that village feel. So I'm looking to get a sense from you if you could really give us some sense of um, why five stories is being proposed and, and why that's um, a, a key element to the project's success. Yeah, great question. As an organization, our goal is to build as many housing units as possible while developing a building that integrates into the feel of the village. So we appreciate that five stories will be a point of discussion in the community, and we want to explain why we're proposing uh, the building the way it is. Um, the building is located in a floodplain, so no residential units are allowed to be built on the main floor as per bylaw. The ground floor will instead be commercial space and office space for Sea to Sky Community Services. In order to maximize the number of units, uh, we are proposing four residential floors above the main commercial floor. Each story has 16 units, which represents 25% of the total number um, of housing units. Um, by building up as opposed to wide, we will keep our building, our footprint on the site manageable and ensure there's outdoor space for residents and that the building integrates uh, with the rest of the village. I think it's a unique opportunity for a community the size of Pemberton to add much needed affordable rentals. Currently, there are only 30 non-market rental units in all of Pemberton, so this project will more than triple the number of affordable rentals available to families and seniors and people with disabilities. Thanks so much, Jesse. Um, so just looking now at the timeline, can you give people just a sense of where we are at and where we are heading in terms of this project? Yes, so um, Sea to Sky Community Services partnered with the Village of Pemberton on an application to BC Housing in January 2021, so just over a year ago. Uh, since this time, we found out that we were a successful applicant and BC Housing is now working with us as a funder on this project. Um, we have been working through the concept uh, and schematic design phase and are preparing our development applications for submission to the village in March uh, next month. Um, should we be successful with our permitting, uh, we would anticipate construction to start in 2023 um, and occupancy of the building would be in early 2025. Thanks so much, Jesse. I'd like to turn it over to you, uh, Jay, just to close us off and to give folks a bit of a sense in terms of um, feedback and um, how people can engage in this process. Thanks, Jessica. This is truly a community project. 
we are so grateful for our partnerships with the Village of Pemberton, BC Housing, and many other partners that could have contributed to uh, the concept um, and discussions around this building thus far. Now's our chance to include you. And this is where we would love to hear from the community about your thoughts, um, your hopes, your dreams about what can this particular project do for Pemberton and you and your families. So reach out to us with the information uh, provided here on this screen. Um, we'll have many areas that you can provide your feedback an online survey, paper surveys, including community dialogue sessions. All of your feedback will contribute to the conversation that we bring forward uh, in the application uh, early this spring. And this is a part of us, including you, because at Sea to Sky Community Services, we are truly building community together. And that includes everyone. Thank you so much. So thank you uh, for listening and for joining us. Uh, we look forward to seeing your responses in the online survey. We encourage you to register for small group dialogues. Um, this is a unique opportunity for the village of Pemberton and for people who, who love the community and uh, who call it home. Thank you so much and stay well. Take care, everyone.